Um, I had a question. Could you weigh in on this Matheson versus Butstead debate? <laughs> so I know that there is a it's a big famous historical sort of polemic that happened. Um, who was right in that instance? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know who's right, but what, what happened with that debate? So it's very simply, Matteson was kind of progressive, uh, trendy, and, you know, wanted to modernize uh, uh, the, the solmization system. And Butchtet was pretty old fashioned. And he said, no, we, we stick to the old ways. That's summarizing it very quickly. But what's happened since then? I mean, this was a localized debate. It's, it's in German, it's in a particular part of Germany. Uh, but what happened is scholars in the sort of 1970s and 80s took this as a kind of universal symbol. And they said, ah, this is the conquest of the old ways. Butchtet is represents the old and matters and the new. So therefore, by kind of 1725, the new is, is there. Mm. And a lot of scholars kind of made this a cutoff date. And it's demonstrably false because we know that the, the old system carries on for at least 100 years after that. Mm. And so uh, its relevance now is, is an example as to how not to universalize a particular. Mm. So this was a particular debate between two musicians, and it became universalized as kind of music history in, in a big H. Mm. So, you know, oh, this is when solmization stops completely. Butchtet right. gets told to shut up by Matteson, and he does shut up. It's 1716, wasn't it, his book? But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's, it's been made a little bit too important, I think, that debate. But it's right. very characteristic of the time. There are lots of debates like that going on in the right. 1730s, that sort of time.